Hello everyone, welcome back, Lil B here back again, and here we are at part 2 of the Sunken King DLC, uh, Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. In the last episode we didn't really do much, but we traversed most through the early parts of the Sunken uh, King DLC, the Shoal Sanctum. We came here to Dragon Shrine, or whatever it's actually called, uh, and we killed Jester Thomas, and now we rested at this bonfire, and now we are ready to progress, man. Progress. So, hi. So, where you actually want to go is up that ladder. The only reason why I dropped down is because there's a chance I could have just fallen off and failed. So, let's progress, my friends. You want to come up here? Come up here, kill her, murder her face, and then you're gonna want to go this way. Go away! Go away, my friends. And then you're gonna be in the room with a bunch of these douchebags, and then there's gonna be a bunch of that bottes. Wow. You're gonna wanna... stab them all! Because there's also a necessary item in here that I'm gonna want. That you do kinda need. Mata! Item! Three! The Sanctum Key! Mata! 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 Murder! <laughs> Bunch of murders. Alright, that should be all of them now. They all should be physical, which... Fighting them all at once like this is not easy. Because they are pretty strong in their own right. So you want to be careful. Either way, you want to be careful. You don't want to just go running headlong into them. But fighting them one-on-one -on -one is fine. I also want to go take her out, because she's a bitch. She hit me. You bastard! Don't need you on me, too. I also didn't get this chest, so now that I have the opportunity... Guard. Alright. Grab the Lloyd's Talisman times five there, and heal up. And now, I'm gonna go take on those assholes. Just to get rid of them. Don't need them uh, annoying me. Oh, that guy shoots some dark ma magic out of his Avalon, apparently. Uh, I hate those guys. Those guys are pretty cool, though. Alright. So, any more? Yeah, there it is. There's, oh, there's, and he has a normal bolts with his Evelyn, too. This guy's weakened, so we're taking him out. Ugh. Pink! Oh, 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 you can't do that to him, apparently. Yeah, these guys are basically weak one-on-one. -on -one. Alright, so you're going to want to come grab that, too, even though it's not needed. The key that I did get, though, is the... Uh, uh, Eternal Sanctum Key. And we got a Dragonstone. I'll show when both of those activate. The Eternal Sanctum Key, though, is necessary to get to the Gank Squad. The Dragonstone is necessary to progress and beat the DLC. Both of which you do want if you want to beat this whole DLC. Which I do. Now, if you guys recall where that door was, back up at the beginning of this place. Bye bye. Oh wait, I can't. I can't go up that way. I'm gonna have to come back then afterward. Well, we can we can do that real quick, but uh, first I want to actually go somewhere. Because where I was trying to head was back by that door. Hey, buddy. No need to keep him alive anyway. No need to keep any of them alive. It just helps you out greatly, that's all. Get out of here. So, where you want to go is down here. Backstabber! And the singing is the boss of the area. Which, the boss is trying to, the lore on this place is the singing is trying to lull the ancient dragon back to its slumber to ease its pain and keep it basically in check. I don't know how well that works though. Because, uh, some dude came in 
and basically killed off the king here and the sunken king and basically stabbed Sin with his spear, Yorg, and then the store of uh, Sin's poison was stored no longer and immediately, I think he killed off Yorg immediately after being pierced. And that's the big spear you get from his boss soul, Yorg's spear. Hello, dragon butts! These guys will drop petrified dragon bones if you manage to kill them. They are not hard though, but ow! You, I just avoid them. There is no reason to waste my time martyring them. They are strong though. Not going to deny that. They have, I believe they have stomps. They have jumps. They have that, and they should have a bite. Ow! And that. So, I'm trying to get to the bonfire, but first, I wanted to see if there's any items around. Bonfire! Good, I hit it. Oh, phew. Alright, so they're gonna go bye-bye. Alright, now we can uh, progress. So we got the dragon stone, we can progress. Bye-bye! Item! I want every item. Move, move, nay, nay. But what you really want to go to is over there. Dried root, dried root. Go, 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 yeah. All right. The reason being, you want the dragon stone is to come up to this device here, and it will raise up these beautiful columns, which is a nice little gorgeous scene. And it will give you access to up that, up there. Yay! Awesome. So now, you want to come here, and you want to hit this little thing, which will give you access to the said shortcut elevators back down here. But then you can also come here and grab an item. Drake Blood Great Swords! That's the followers of Yorg, I believe. Uh huh. Which are the remains of the guys I'm fighting. So now we're going to want to hit on this pressure plate and take this elevator upward. My little pouch. Look at that little pouch. I wonder why it does that weird physics. Look at my quiver. It looks like bees. My arrows look like bees. So, now we are by where we go for the first, well not the first, but which is the main part of the DLC, the last few bosses. The reason I'm coming down here is because there is a bonfire. I'm not going to tackle it just yet, but there is a bonfire. And I can always just warp here after that, without having to come down here and walk back here. And the bonfire is kind of a hard one to find if you don't know where you're looking. And also there's these enemies who are pretty difficult to take out. If you're not, good. Ow. You want to be careful with these guys. Come here. Come here, you, you, you asshole. Nice. Alright. Oh! 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 Hitting that will create a bunch of, or will make a bunch of lizards come down. For anyone who wants them, it's gonna be basically rain and lizards! I got two of them. Got three! I got them all! No! I missed one! I guess I didn't kill it in time! Hey, I got three, though. That's more than I could say before. All right. Not that I need them, though, but still, hey. Then you come over here. Oh, that was an 
mistake there. And then I believe this is the part. I got confused here real quick. You want to be careful. Yeah, that's not it. Oh god, hello! Hey, don't block me! Don't block me, man! Poopy. Yeah, you want to be really careful here. Alright, then if this is not it, then it's probably below. One step further. Yeah, yeah, this this is it. This is the most bottom floor that you want to go down. You want to come over here and just start tapping on the wall. There we go. Yeah, that was one floor too high. Alright, so we hit the bonfire. Now we just need one more bonfire. Okay. So. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to want to come over here to this bonfire. And, uh, basically... I want to go into where the gank squad is. There is one more bonfire though. So you get to that bonfire that I'm talking about, I think you take an elevator up or something, I believe. Or that, you climb a bunch of ladders. I remember you climb a bunch of ladders or something like that. I can't remember. I hardly play this DLC, by the way. Alright, I took them out with limit, limitous, limitless effort, which is very good. And then you want to come over and get back into here, and then... This is why I said I'd rather hit the bonfire so I can just warp there. And then you want to go into here. Use the Eternal Sanctum Key. Bagooch! Hello? Be careful because there's two of them. Bagoom! And bagoom! Nope! You're not using scraps of life on me! Ow, 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 ow! That was Scraps of Life. Now these are basically going to be all like dried roots, I think, or something. Most of these chests will. Yep. Well, I think one is different and the rest are all dried root. Which is kind of stupid, but hey, whatever, chests. Crimson Water. Lightning Clutch Ring, which increases lightning damage, I think. Very useful. Dried Root. Very useful for anyone trying to do more lightning damage. Yep. I think you'll find another in the second DLC. I remember having two lightning rings, which will be very helpful for me fighting Sin, because I can rape him much faster with lightning damage, which I'll be turning my weapon in the back to that once I beat the bosses here. Yeah, this is it. Two ladder, a couple ladders, and you're up at the ne the last bonfire in this area. Well, the last one I need, anyway. Okay. So, there's these critters that will come down. You just want to take them out so they're not bothering you when you... Because <laughs> there's going to be an NPC you're going to be fighting. You don't want to get bothered by them. And there's they're just kind of annoying as well. And they do that. Now... This last one doesn't really lead to much, but it does lead to an item, I think, or at least one item, I believe. Oh, okay, a chest. That's that's good enough for me. I never really come up here because I do know it leads to nothing. Besides the Sanctum Shield. Yeah, yeah, see? It leads to shit. And sconces. Useless, out of the way... Light, unlit sconces that need no lighting for some reason. What's the point of it? I tried lighting them to see if it actually does anything, but it don't. 
you know, I don't know, this is kind of more of a puzzly DLC than what you'd expect from the game itself, but it didn't do shit. So, we're going to come over here to Shulva Sanctum City, and this is going to lead to an NPC by the name of Rockshield Beldare. This guy ain't the easiest. He also uses a talisman on your ass to prevent you from healing, which is fine because I have gems. I have the life edge gemmies. And, uh... What the? There you. Rockshield Belder's not hard. I mean, can be annoying, but he's not difficult. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Stop that! I'm over, almost over the cliff. A little drop off. Oh, which means I can heal again, and he's been backstabbed. Oh god. Okay, so Rockfield Belder is gone. Now we can uh, continue through, and we can use this bonfire. All right. Bum -ba -da -dum, bum 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 -ba So we're gonna go through here. I believe this leads to yes. Okay. So this is the gang squads area. We're we're basically at the gang squad. But I wanna. I believe this leads you back to the beginning. I believe. Ah, I missed it. Missed it. I don't even know what was up there. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're back at the beginning. Nearly. That leads you there. You remember when I said there was a shortcut here? It was the first the little spot that I came through? Yeah, that's it. Near the beginning, anyway. Not the beginning, but near it. So, where's this lead? Ah, I missed it again. Ah, forget it. Forget it. I'll forget it. Don't know what it leads to, anyway. I'll try to get it after this. I don't want to waste time. All right. Uh, there's these, uh, NPCs that you can use to help beat the boss here, but I don't want to use them. I really don't like the idea of using them to beat a freaking boss. Even though I have used NPCs before to use beat bosses, or not just to beat the boss, I mean to have them aggro. So I can tackle the boss. That, some bosses give me trouble sometimes, so I use some NPCs to help me aggro them so I can basically just get some hits off, or use them to aggro them so I can heal. But I don't, like, like I used Agdane to kill off, uh, all the guards right before Belstat, and I just brought him in with me because I knew he was going to die anyway, but I didn't use him to fight Belstat by any means. No, I don't use NPCs for that. This fight I can understand people using NPCs. That's what they're there for, though, so I don't see why people complain. But, hey, I don't like it. Oh, these guys petrify, and they're very annoying. Ah, very annoying. So, the pit you technically want to drop down is technically that one. Reason being is it's right by the, uh, where you want to go. But, first things first. Take out most of these statues. As there's no reason to keep them alive. Or whole, I should say. They're not alive, they're statues. But there's no reason to keep them shooting at you. As they will petrify you if given the chance. Because they have petrified me before. The only way they can petrify you is if you're rushing through and you're just being cost by multiples of them. And otherwise, they don't petrify that often. They're very weak. So that thing is gone. I'm glad for that. And we're going to take out this douche here. Because he's, he's just annoying. No reason. Oh, why did I roll twice? Why did I roll? Damn it, arrow guy! Stop! See what I mean? You can be petrified if you're trying to rush. I just tried to rush through the heal up, and I almost got petrified. I almost got killed. Oh, come on! Arrow guy! Jesus Christ! Don't jump back! He's alive! Oh, come on!
Would you guys leave him alone a minute? What? Ah, come on. How many are there? Oh my god! This is bad. This is very bad. Guys. If it wasn't for the fact that they were all hitting me and the arrow guy survived and all those hits I took trying to kill him just got me low enough to the point where I have no Estes. This is bad. Very bad. Stop. Stop. This is why I hate this DLC. Like, I really dislike it just for that reason alone. Some of these guys are just way too unforgivingly cheap. And this, I hate these guys. Like, seriously, what is the purpose? Break! There's no purpose for a lot of these things. Do they have to put all these statues down here? And I hate how the statues cause you to stagger. Really the most annoying thing ever. And it freaking stagger in this game is freaking stupid, as it... I'm missing. As it takes forever for you to recover from it. I'm just complaining, aren't I? Go away, all of you stupid statues. Come on! Hit it. There we go. Most of the statues are all broken. Alright, I just want to collect things so I can get through this and not have to worry about it when I come back. Bonfire Ascetic. Because I'm basically not going to be able to beat the sick bit boss here because of the low amount of Estus I have now. But I just... In order for me to be able to rush through this, I just want to be able to collect everything I can and then get out of here. You know? Stop! Stop! I hate that, how you can basically get knocked off your guard. Oh my god, I hate these things. Come on! Oh my gosh! Would you come on? Thank you. Statues! Die! A bright bug. Ooh yeah, that'll help a lot. Basically, that was its introduction was this DLC. Alright. So there's basically another little drop off you want to go down, which is right here by this guy, I believe. Because it's in, it is right behind uh, one of these things. And if it wasn't behind that last one, then it is behind this one. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yes, it is. Oh, that's a sconce. Alright. I'm going to do my best to come through most of this area. So I can basically get what I can out of here. Would I please? Thank you. Uh. Walls. Thank you, goodbye. If you need safety and heal time, you basically come through here and break some of those statues so they don't bother you. And then these same things. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wow, that was a far push. I messed that up very badly. That looked like it would have hurt badly. Alright. Ah! <laughs> What the hell is with the fail backstab? I swear, the precise on the back, uh, being in the back is just kind of annoying. We're doing better now? Great. I don't like when I do worse than then do better. Come on! Alright, so that thing's gone. I don't gotta worry about it now. Uh, okay. Is this everything? No, it's not. This will point. Poison you? This will curse your ass. Uh, petrify, curse, whatever. Uh. Alright, so this is Gang Squad. There's no guarantee I'm going to be able to win with the amount of uh, shit that I have. 
the Estes levels. But you can always give it an attempt, I guess. Alright. Good luck. <laughs> this 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 fight though is needs to be nerfed. It it's just too freaking powerful. The enemies are just so freaking unfair. What the fuck? Oh, they were stunned by that. They couldn't move by it because of the wall. What the hell? There it is. This is where I wanted to go. Oh, Varg, please. Don't be a bitch because we all know you're a bitch. What the fuck? Dude, let me through, man. That's where I meant to go. Oh my god. I don't know why I, I have trouble finding it sometimes. That's a waste of hell. My last Estus. You basically want to kite them around up until you get her or him. I'm sorry, Sarah's a guy. Grave Rubber Varg is a, is a girl. You want to get uh, her bitch ass, his bitch ass alone. But every time I do manage to do so, I get... Murdered! I can never hit them! Like, it's not fair. Like, they're so freaking annoyingly fast. Now I gotta waste time wasting up on freaking life gems. And my sh magic weapon is gone. All because of you not ever letting me hit you. Stop. Stop! No! God, the run! The running is terrible! Go, my gosh! I can never run. I don't get why my guy does that. Go, go, go! you stop? Would you guys leave me alone? So basically, you just repeat that process until one is dead, and then eventually you get the last two to deal with. They aren't easy, I can tell you that right now. But there's still a fight, nonetheless. Oh, come on, Sarah! God damn it! I don't like when they stop! You guys, sometimes they just, just stall. I don't like that at all. Like, I wish they would stall longer. So I can actually murder, murder, murder! I probably could have gotten her dead. But he is dead. He's finally gone. That's the one you start with. Then the next one is Grave Oh, Afflicted Grave Robber. Actually, Grave Robber is the girl, not Varg. I confuse the two all the time. Varg is the guy, the Afflicted Grave Robber is a girl, apparently. So I've read. I always confuse Sarah for the Old Explorer as a girl because the name's Sarah. But that's a different pronunciation, actually, altogether. So the one with the sword is the girl. Uh, uh, apparently. The one who just hit me in the back. The one I'm weakening now. The reason I go after her first is because of the freaking amounts of speed she has and the bleed. I don't want to be bled. So you just keep kiting them around and they get really, really annoying, but this is basically how you beat them. And if you get lucky, you can take them out. And this is the only, I think, oh, uh oh. Oh god, you do not want to be hit by that. Any of, uh, Grave Robber, Var, Afflicted, or, uh, Varg's attacks. I keep calling them all Grave Robbers, but technically they are. I mean, they all came to loot this place. I'm not sure if it's just the Afflicted Grave Robber or if it's all of them, but they all came to loot this damn place. And I dislike this fight with great intensity! I 
I'm actually doing good for a first try, believe it or not. And this is the this is the way you were meant to fight them, believe it or not. Good thing Varg backed off, so I could have I could I was able to get a couple shots on. I hate that stalagmite. Stalagmite, stalactite, I keep getting them confused. One's on the ceiling, one's on the ground, whichever. God fucking damn it. Oh, 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 okay. I managed to get a hit off of him before I went to retreat and heal. It's basically rinse and repeat. That's all you're going to want to do, and hope for the best, to be honest. They're having trouble. You just want to keep doing this until eventually you'll find an opening to attack. And eventually you'll be able to get some openings in and be able to damage them. My third dragon ring, no! It's at risk! Varg heal, that's also a problem with this fight. Oh, come on! Don't be swinging the wrong way! No, my ring! Shit. Shit! I'm in a bad position, really. Varg, come on! Why is he right behind me? Why did I have to miss Grave Robber? I could have finished Grave Robber off. If only I didn't miss, Grave Robber would have been dead, and Varg is not much trouble because he's the same as Havel and the same as that other dude from the Abyss. If that's Varg himself in that. Heals up a bit. Varg fell. Bring it! Yeah. Ah! Bring it! No! Screw you, man! <laughs> Told you, he's just pathetic. He's actually the second he just won. The one I dislike the most is Grave Robber. That and Sarah because of the... Because of uh, her arrows. Or his arrows, I should say. And first try! Oh! <laughs> wow. Maybe it's just all my time playing then fighting them. The times that I took to fight them and all the other times I took just, just trying to beat them actually gave me a, quite a bit of experience having to be able to take them all out. That was really well done. <sighs> that fight is still a heart pounder, though. I did not expect to beat that. And now I'm going to dress pretty for everyone. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Don't I look sexy? Kind of show off my little body there. Show off my moves. It's very disturbing, to be honest. Especially the fact that she's so muscular. Uh, I got a way to be even more fabulous. Where are you? There you are. Hold up. Time to be even more fabulous. Fabulous! God, that is just so hilarious. Okay, enough of being funk funky. Funky, funky! I'm two-handing my hand. Oh, uh, that's gotta hurt. So I don't get the point of two-handing your fists. Like, how does that even help? Like, try that in a real battle and real fights and see how that goes for you. So now we're gonna teleport back. Bow, 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 bow. Hmm. 
So we beat the one of the most annoying boss fights ever first try, which I am grateful of. Because I was glad. I was afraid I was going to lose. But the minute I took out uh, Sarah so easily, and the minute I took out Afflicted Grave Robber, I knew it was over for them. <clears throat> Varg is not the problem, it's the other two. Mainly Sarah, the explorer, because she shoots at you from afar, and you basically get stun locked if you get hit. So I'm going to get that. I want to see what's down here real quick. If there is anything. I doubt it. Oh, no. Oh. I feel even more dumb. Yay. Okay, well, we're going to waste a couple seconds and go back to the bonfire so I can warp to the other bonfire. The one where the next area is. The last area in the game. Of this DLC, anyway. Hmm. Sorry, if you hear that, I'm eating, I'm eating chili with spaghetti. It's called Cincinnati Chili. Homemade recipe by my parents that, uh, I guess it comes from Cincinnati, hence the name. Alright. Now I was just running around like an idiot. So sanctum interior. Now depending on how this boss fight goes, I should have a decent time. But to be honest, she to me, she is the Second hardest boss of this DLC. I find Sin to be the easiest one here out of, out of all these bosses. And then I find the hardest to be the three I just beat. Which I just beat first try, so it didn't, I probably made them look easy. That's actually how you're supposed to beat them, by the way. And then I find I find Al uh, Alana uh, the second hardest, and I find Sin the easiest. This is the main reason why I have my... Uh, I got my weapons magic. Is because of this white. So we're gonna look around here. I think there might be items. I'm not sure. There is a summon. Oh, there's two summons. The same. Su oh, Benhart, huh? <laughs> oh. So, Benhart's a badass. I don't care if anyone thinks of this. I'm summoning Benhart. Benhart is just a badass. He's one of my favorite NPCs. I love Benhart. No homo. No items? Hmm. So Benhart's going to be my only summon for this fight. He might actually not really help too much because I never summoned him for this fight. Let's go, Benhart. The only reason why I'm summoning him is just because he's a badass. Yes. But the first thing you want to do is immediately put this on. If possible. Ah. Uh, yeah. And then after you get in here, you're going to want to immediately go to the boss. Go up to her immediately. Two hand and just go ham. Reason being is all that damage. Not much, but still, it helps. Bell start. Ugh. Oh, pfft. Hey, hey, I didn't see that coming, Valstat. Uh, hello. Hello, Valstat. Let me heal. Let me heal. I'm taking on Valstat. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. I got hit by all three. That's not good. Ah, I'm trying to heal, woman. Yeah, Ben Hart is not helping much at all with this fight, so I knew it was basically to just be me tackling her. That's fine, though. Even if she does manage to survive, he manages to survive her, it's fine with me. 
He's not helping enough to make this fight easy either. But she's not hard at all by any means. But she's not the easiest one there. Ow. I really gotta remember her attacks. Forgot, I didn't... I, some of her attacks, I can't really tell what they are. They all look alike. So she's summoning Velstat again. How I can tell is when there's one summon cloud dirt. Dirt. Ow, oh, coming out. Then you can tell that's Velstat. When there's three, there's Skellies and probably the pig, which I've never seen. I've never seen the pigs personally, but I've seen them for other people. <laughs> Would you not do that? Can you... Velstat, please! Oh my god, Benhart! <laughs> would you come on? Aggro them long enough for me to heal, would you? Jesus! Nope. I'm not getting this good enough. Like, I can't... No, they won't leave me alone! Long enough for me to heal off. Hello. Hi. That's... Hey, Alana. Oh, more of those. Okay. And Alana falls. Alright, Benhart with no help at all for that. But I wanted to summon him because he's a badass. And plus, you're, uh, it counts towards one of the boss fights for his quest line. Alright. As you saw how pretty bad I did against that fight, sort of, I probably would have had much, a little bit of harder, more harder time against her, but it's only because of multiple enemies. I'm not good when it comes to that. I'm sorry. You can say all you want. I summon do be do be do I'm not, I swear I'm not the only one who does so. I mean, for this fight, do not summon. Do not. I will not be summoning for this battle at all. So we're going to travel here to uh, McDuff's workshop to infuse my weapon with lightning for this battle. <clears throat> and you guys can say, for whoever is going to be watching this, you can say what you want about me summoning specific NPCs. I do it because, A, I like to summon NPCs for certain fights. Not that they're hard, but just because certain fights I like the NPC I summon, like Ben Hart specifically, I, like, I, like, I just like his character, so I, want to, I just want to have him help me. Help me kick their ass together as a team, how, like, co-op is almost. Oops. Accidentally, uh... Ah! But, yeah, that's all it is. It's not, oh, I, I'm stuck on Alana, I need help. No, it's not. Not at all. So we're gonna travel back to Majula 2, I need to repair my rings. That's not it at all. I could've beaten her fine. I mean, come on, I beat Gang Squad. Which, normally, I like to summon for that fight. The last two times I beat them, I summoned for it, and I spammed them with Hex. This time, I didn't. <clears throat> so, say what you will. Sure you will. Yep. But it's fine, though, honestly. Put that on, just, just in case. Maybe. It might not help too much. I may not even need it. Mainly need lightning, though, for this. Just because. So this is the last bonfire of the area, right before the final boss of this area. Oh my god, I finished this DLC in two parts. I thought it was going to be like three parts, but eh, two parts, better than nothing. Give or take. All right. So you don't want to start off immediately by using Sunlight Blade because you have time before he attacks. Because what he's going to do is he's going to roar and then he'll do a next swing. You want to do it now. I had my shield equipped. Would you? Wow. Okay, that was poor start. Only because my shield didn't pop out. What am I supposed to do?
No stamina. Stop it, Sin. Sin, I can't see, man. You can cut his tail off, but it's not worth it. Like, what's the point when there's no actual meaning behind it? And no tail weapons! God damn it. Sin, no! Wow, I died to Sin. I beat gang grave robber guys and gang squad, and I beat Alana first try, and I died to Sin? That started off poor. Like, I tried to, the minute I got my stupid weapon abused with lightning, I tried to equip my shield again, and it just didn't activate. And then, uh, I hate when that happens. That fight started off really poor, and, uh, oh my god. He has little time to op uh, opening for heals. Like, seriously, if I would have gotten my heals off, I would have been fine. Like, okay, do it now, and bust out my shield, please. There we go. That's how it should have started, but no, it didn't. Oh, come on. Sin, Sin, I can't see, man. Seriously, Sin. Ah, oh, that hurt. I can't see when you're doing that. There. What the heck? I can't see when he's attacking me. Like, seriously. Alright, so he doesn't. His attacks are basically all mainly telegraphed. Like, he's about to spew a poisonous fireball, and then uh, he's he's gonna eventually fly back up again like a bitch. And is he gonna. What's he gonna do? What's he doing? What is he doing now? Oh, he's, he's gonna spew, spew fire. Or, I think. I don't know. Now he's gonna try to hit me with his stomps. If you stand back further, that wouldn't have hit me. You can use that to your opportunity. Not good, not good, not good! Yeah, use his fire to your opportunity advantage to basically kill him or hit him. <laughs> Would you stop? Work! What the fuck, Sin? What are you doing now? I can't tell, buddy. And Sin falls. Alright. Second try on him, which wasn't bad, but he's the easiest of the three fights. And, uh, yeah. Crown of the Sunken King! A faint... What is it? It says it says a faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. All right. All righty, son. So we're just gonna use this to get back without having to run that way again. I'm. All right. So DLC is done. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, these episodes of the DLC, leave a like, comment, subscribe, as it helps you out greatly. I love you guys, have a good day, and enjoy, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!